fire shelters. Uh, those plans uh, getting sped up here. They want to do this fast and quick and protect some of the firefighters out there fighting some of these wildland fires. We're going to talk about it in just a few minutes. All right, and the solar plane is back in the air right now trying to fly around the world without a drop of fuel. Why this leg of the trip is the most challenging yet. Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, everybody, in Heat Wave, and it's heating up in the Valley of the Sun. We broke a record over the weekend, so will the hot temperatures last, and how long will they go? Corey McCloskey. Well, I hate to be the one to bring it to you, but yes, they will last. We're in for a near record high again today. We'll talk about the rest of the week in the forecast in just a few minutes, you guys. Hi, everybody. Good morning and welcome. Here it is Monday. This is the last Monday of March. Uh, can you believe well, it? I know. Heading into April. Mm-hmm. Your birthday month. <laughs> Good morning, Ron. <laughs> no. And Andrea, you were the first one to bring that up. Yeah. Usually the hints big, come from... It's a uh, big month. <laughs> Hey, 702, let's update everybody on our top stories of the morning now. We start with a Fox 10 news alert. You're looking at live pictures now coming in from Fort Meade, Maryland. Got those pictures for you just coming in from uh, the uh, our helicopter there from our sister station of the Washington, D.C. area as a car apparently tried to ram the front gate of NSA headquarters there at Fort Meade. And so you can see what they've done right now is to, it appears, literally close off that entrance to the base completely and have kind of surrounded the area there with the crime scene tape. Reports of an officer involved shooting as well. So whoever did this, uh, that now becomes the next focus of the investigation. And for what purpose were they trying to literally get on board that base right where the NSA EA from coming in for any any reason uh, they've got a lot of cover on their activities right and many people lives. and many people are depressed and they manage it and so even if you're an airline pilot her old daughter Jesse continues in you know the heat it sneaks up fast on you especially when you're thinking oh it's nice and mild this all was a big act they say that Hunter killed her daughter days before reporting her missing suitcase, a school. Uh, talking about Islamic State activists trying to target U.S. military facilities. Uh, what we do know from seeing the video that was provided to us by Channel 5 News, WTTG has a helicopter above the air. Um, you can see that there are two vehicles, a black Suburban and a white um, a white vehicle that looked like they've spun out. Uh, it, we're told that the black SUV was the one that tried to ram the guard gate there at the NSA entrance. Um, again, it's not clear uh, who was involved, whether it was shooting before the, the vehicle rammed the gate, but there are ambulances on the scene, and we're told that there are uh, two people who have been put into, into those ambulances. So um, we're trying to get more details, but that's what we know at this time. You got it, Jennifer. Yeah. Thank you. When you get more, we'll bring you back okay from the Pentagon there thank you Jen this prosecutors at least eight people are dead and ten others injured in a car accident in Glades County Florida Highway Patrol says a van that belonged to a church ran a stop sign order uh, it was pretty clear that on this flight uh, that that he was determined to accomplish uh, uh, that terrible, terrible mission that he was. Ever been to the Sioux Locks? No. What Not are the they? Sioux St. Marie? The Locks between oh. yeah. What lakes? Lake Superior and Huron, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, but not yeah. in a, not in a boat that you made yourself, right? No, it was in a like a tourist boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'd love to see you make your own kayak. I would too. <laughs> yeah. uh, morning, everyone. Traffic right now is getting just a little bit easier as far as the accidents are concerned, but we've got lots of delays out there. Those have not gone away yet, especially out on the west side of town. 83rd Avenue, we're still left with one crash there. The inbound lanes on the 10 from 91st Avenue heading in through West Phoenix. In toward downtown Phoenix are still, you pretty well know what to expect at this time of the morning. On the 17, this is northbound at the Carefree Highway. We've got a crash there as well. Not too bad as far as the delays are concerned around that section of the 17, but as you continue past the 101, uh, closer toward Greenway and Cactus and Thunderbird, that area is starting to be um, slow. And then beyond that, from 
Peoria through Northern. Another tight spot there. We'll head outside. Here's some live pictures of traffic this morning out on the 51. How about that? Pretty slow. Uh, that's the slowest spot, though, that we found on the 51, so it's not all that bad. Uh, but it will taper off as you continue down toward Indian School Road. All right, it's uh, 11 minutes after 7 o'clock here on Monday morning. Is it the 29th? Uh, it's the 30th It's the today. 30th. Yesterday was the 29th. Tomorrow's yeah. the uh, th 31st. You got it. 30 days out of September. All the rest of can't remember. All right, it's uh, nearly been two years now uh, since the Yarnell Hill wildfire took the lives. Uh, the, what a tragedy. Took the lives of those 19 Granite Mountain hotshot firefighters. And now that tragedy is prompting some big changes. Well, the U.S. Forest Service says it's moving forward with a new fire shelter design after the previous design failed to protect those firefighters. Celeste Rodriguez uh, following up on the story this morning. Good morning, Celeste. Hey, good morning, you guys. Uh, yeah, this is the previous shelter. So this is the one that a lot of those firefighters that are still fighting some of those wildland fires. 2000. So we're talking around 2000 or so. And you carry it on a pack just like this. So the concern is finding something that can withstand. We're talking, you know, higher than 1,000 degrees in temperature. And something that can actually snap onto your pack, like in a pocket, just like this one. Uh, you know, something that weighs maybe around four and a half, five and a half pounds. And, uh, and can fit so that firefighters can carry it with them. We have some video to show you as well. Uh, let's talk specifically how this started. The, the thought was starting to sprout up in areas where you see a lot of brush, things that can really spark up during uh, wildland season. So right now, the big concern too uh, is with in April this month, some of the big concerns for some of the states and wildfires, you're seeing some of the Midwest states, Wisconsin, Illinois, uh, West Virginia, North Carolina, some of those states with the biggest concerns for the April of 2015 as far as fire outlook. And so Arizona, you know, we see those a little bit later in the year. But of course, uh, a big concern and, and something to think about when you uh, think about some of those firefighters who are out there as well, protecting us, protecting our properties. Okay. Okay, so thank, thank, thank you. Appreciate that. And as you could see, and which we witnessed when we were driving back from San Diego over the weekend, the desert is lush and beautiful mm -hmm. right now with, um, you know, beautiful wildflowers. Yeah. Mm. Of course, that all dries up and becomes a fire hazard, as sure you know. It does, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Kristen standing by with a, a day a look at what else is trending. I know. Okay, you guys, another incentive from Apple to buy the $10,000 version of the Apple. 75th Avenue in through downtown, almost 30 minutes, about 27 minutes at this point. Taking you to the north part of town, you know, I don't think it's by accident that that uh, laser tag... <laughs> um, so, uh, what, are you gonna, what do you say? Are you going to dish out the 10 grand? Nah. Uh, no. You know, the one thing I do like about it is you could change the face of it. So if you want to wear a Mickey Mouse watch That's today, true. You know, uh -huh. but yeah. it's not worth ten thousand. No, this I don't. this yeah. watch is like I'm not forty told bucks, either. and that looks fancy. I'm not told either, but I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next up. TripAdvisor.com has compiled this list of uh, cities around the country, like the top 10 cities on the rise, like rising in popularity. Mm -hmm. now they're Remember we used props. to do the parade at Prescott Valley, Ron? Yeah. Well, all we need to do is be invited. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll do your Prescott, your Prescott Valley. If that's and, not asking for an invite, I don't know what was. <laughs> I mean, if Mayor exactly. and Cordes Junction want to throw a parade, we do parade. We'll, we'll be there. Yeah. All right, happening right now, two pilots continue their quest to become the first to fly around the world on solar power alone. Wow. The Solar Impulse 2, that's the name of the aircraft. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, seen here left uh, Myanmar uh, early this morning. It is now on its way to China. It's a 19-hour flight. This is one of the most challenging parts of the trip around the world. They have to fly over the Himalayas. Ooh. Yeah, and temps there are extremely cold. Right. They have to wear uh, oxygen masks or calling for for your Monday and likely today is going to be the warmest day this week. 94 in Mesa, 94 in Queen Creek, your high today as well. About 93 in Moon Valley, 95 for Tempe, 94 in Chandler and Scottsdale and 96 for downtown Phoenix and Ahwatukee. West Valley about 96 for Surprise, 95 in Avondale, Peoria and Glendale. Your three day forecast shows slowly we're going to start to come back down on these temperatures. 94 for tomorrow. That would tie a record still for tomorrow's day low 90s by Wednesday. Sounds good, April. Thank you. Coming up, the National Park Service starting a brand new campaign. How they hope to attract more millennials and kids to places like the Grand Canyon. Wow, uh, this is the Solar Impulse YouTube page. Wow. Uh, showing uh, the pilots. Uh, the pilots. You can't see them. It's it, kind of dark.
than it's ever been, and it's all over Iran. They just look at what is taking place. I would assume that there are thousands and thousands of employees working inside that building. There are, and it's similar to other intelligence uh, facilities such as the CIA and other of the, of, of the uh, most secure intelligence agencies. Day they will land here in the valley, but of course we'll cover that when they do. Oh gosh, yeah, we gotta have them pop in the studio. And yeah, that'd be right? awesome. I hope it's I a mean, sunny day. This would be yeah. a good place to refuel a solar plane. Oh yeah, would it? Yeah. No yeah. doubt about that. <laughs> Plan to do some shopping today. Uh, it turns out women may be spending more than men. I believe it. Well, I believe kidding. it too. Why women's products cost more than men's oh. products? Mm. And do spicy foods really induce labor? Can you tell if you're having a boy or a girl based on the way you're carrying your baby? At 745, we're getting the facts behind some popular pregnancy myths. In our next hour, a new comedy coming to Fox about four relationship challenge singles. So at 10 minutes after 8 o'clock, we're going to talk to the stars of Weird Loners. That looks pretty funny. Yeah, it does.